Our governments trust the IPCC, the United Nations body known as the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. We're told we should trust it too. Why? Because of one very powerful word, science. My name is Donna Laframboise. I'm a Canadian journalist and the author of two books about the IPCC. On its website, the IPCC says that it is a scientific body. The word scientific appears six times in a few paragraphs, with scientists tossed in for good measure. There's no doubt about it. We are supposed to come away from the IPCC's website utterly convinced that what's going on there is science. But here's the million dollar question. Is an organization a scientific body simply because scientists are involved? Would a baseball team of scientists be a scientific body? Is a chess club a scientific body if most of its members happen to be scientists? Of course not. The IPCC admits that it does not conduct any research. Instead, it's in the business of writing reports. Reports that are thousands of pages long. Five of those reports have been written over the past 25 years. IPCC personnel are expected to survey the scientific literature and write a report about what that literature says about climate change. In the process, these people make thousands of judgment calls. They decide that some studies are worth paying attention to and that others belong in the dustbin. Some still unproven assumptions are taken seriously at the IPCC. Others are dismissed. Judgment calls are not science. They're relying on their knowledge of scientific matters, but IPCC personnel are actually playing a role similar to jurors at a trial. When a jury evaluates evidence and draws conclusions, no one calls that science. So where, exactly, does science happen at the IPCC? Is this really a scientific body?